Welcome back, Dynamic Gang. If you're new to the channel, you already know what to do. So, you know it was <clears throat> the New Year's. And over the New Year's, uh, me and my family had like a uh, like a little Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. I know you're not supposed to gamble with money, but I lost 50 bucks. I uh, came in third. I didn't think it was going to... There was like uh, nine people who played. All my cousins and relatives, so... Uh, you know, we had a big pool of money. I lost 50 bucks, but I think everybody put in 50 bucks. So that was about, what's that? Nine times five, that's $450, something like that. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you my scrap deck uh, profile that I did. Uh, it was pretty good. So I'm going to start with uh, three scrap uh, golems. You already know what he does. Uh, he specials either on your side or on your opponent side he came in really good for the for the plays uh especially with uh scrap searcher what he does is he's like a little mini black rose dragon uh he helped out a lot then i play three scrap chimera now this is my go-to deck this is my personal favorite deck ever uh this this card is just ridiculous uh if it doesn't get um hand trapped uh this deck really loses a hand traps a lot but uh I was really fortunate that they didn't open up with a lot of hand traps, so it was it was actually pretty cool. Um, but if you could see, all these are actually um, from the original booster boxes. I actually had these all the way from the booster box, so all these have been heavily played. So I mean, I would never trade my uh, deck for anything. But the newer addition to the scrap deck, of course, is Scrap Raptor. I mean, this card is just bonkers. And you don't even have to put them in a scrap deck. You can actually put them in the dinos. And actually, when I played against one of my cousins that had the dinos, it was uh, ridiculous. He was playing the, the dino deck. So uh, that card is just ridiculous. So then we play two scrap Orthros. Uh, this card is essential, man. If you're going to play scraps, you got to play him. He's just a free pop, man. Um, and that's how all the stuff goes off. One scrap golem, just because if you special summon it onto the other side, um, he's zero attack. He doesn't get destroyed, um, and you just keep ramming into him. You don't even have to hit any of the other monsters on the other side. So he helped out a lot. The uh, two decks I really lost to was Invoker Shadell and uh, Dystron. I mean, I, I can't, I can't say it. The Drytron, Drytron deck. Yeah, those were the other two that I lost to. I mean, my cousins are just retarded with those decks. But the decks I did beat was Marcos Cosmos, Dino Deck, Tri Brigade, Eldridge Deck, uh, Rocket Dragon Deck, and Sword Souls. And I'll show you what I sided in to do those. So it was actually a really cool mini tournament. And uh, what else do you have to do? Just waiting to 12 o'clock at night, right? So uh, then we play one Scrap Beast. We play... One scrap searcher. Uh, this 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 card just is crazy. You know, everybody's telling me like, oh, you don't really need him. You got him, but he's you know. Sometimes I feel like if I depend too heavy on him, then I kind of like uh, screw myself over. So I, I play one of him actually. Scrap shark. Uh, if you don't know what scrap shark does, uh, he basically destroys himself if um, if you know, anything activates. So he, if you have Scrap Factory on the field, or if you have Scrap Wyvern, he just goes off. Power Giant. If you don't know what Power Giant does, uh, you can actually uh, basically throw a level four lower um, monster out of your hand, and he special summons himself. He also goes down by the level that you drop. So he's good for... Um, many synchro plays. He's actually good just to get a body on the field so you can get a scrap Waverin on the field. So he comes into really good play. I don't know why a lot of people don't really want to play him, but he's he's really crazy. Spell Striker. Um, again, he's just another body on the field. Uh, no damage really gets done to you with uh, Spell Striker, but basically what he does is he's another body on the field just in case uh, you don't have um, another summons in order to get scrap or, or throw, um, scrap wyvern in order to get your plays going. He's really good. Um, then I play two effect valors. I know it's old school, but 
yeah, I told you, I sold like all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, like you could see that I collect all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't really open up any new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And if I do need cards, then what I'll do is I'll order on eBay single ones. It's just really expensive. So Effect Valor helped me out a couple times and it's a, it's a tuner. So, um, old school plays and it's like one of the originals. So, and then of course we play one, uh, the Dino Wrestler, Peco Raptors, Prank Pet, was that? Pankter, Pankter Raptors. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. But again, everybody should know what he does. He's just a free body in order to start my plays. All right, so that's it. That's it for the monsters. Uh, and then we're going to do the spells. We do three Scrap Storms. Uh, Scrap Storms is just one of those uh, crazy plays. Uh, again, all these cards are original. Uh, I pulled all these. Uh, actually, I'm not going to say I pulled all these. I, I actually pulled two. I had to buy one. The same thing with uh, Scrap Yard. Uh, these are all the originals that I actually I actually pulled all these. Uh, I bought like a couple booster boxes. So, like I said, Scrap the um, the Scrap deck has always been part of my um, favorite archetype before all these um you know um support cards i had mech lords and i had um uh, psychics mixed in in order to help run the engine quick because you know how scraps don't really have that many support cards so there was a lot of stuff that i had to tweak but now that scrap actually has a pretty good support it's just it's, it is still a little slower than some of the other decks but uh i'll show you some of the cards that i cited that actually made me uh you know balance this deck out pretty good uh i don't really have a lot of traps in my main deck but that's why i got my side deck so i'll show you so boom we got of course three of the scrap factory you can run two i like three um i don't really uh see any reason not to this really helps you go off on your plays i run three fossil digs i know you only have like four targets right you got you got him and then you got scrap raptor but i mean like it's just another search and like i said when i go to side my card some of these can come out so you know uh it's just a filler of course one monster reborn i don't have change of hearts like i said i got rid of a lot of my cards um but uh I was able, even though it was a tournament that we did, we was able to proxy a change of heart. So I actually dropped one of these and I pretended it was change of hearts. They were allowed it. So uh, one pot of avarice because, I mean, you're always going into your graveyard and you got more than enough resources in there to throw back. Uh, Called by the Grave, you already know what that does. That's essential. Um, one for one, just because you do have effect valors and you do have... Um, scrap searcher and you know you're able to discard so you could put another target into the grave so it can help you out foolish burial you already know instant fusion i'm going to show you a uh instant fusion what this does is it's crazy um like let's say that the person goes before me they don't really have a lot of stuff that actually lets me go for my thousand eyes restrict and i'm able to absorb one of his monsters hopefully he doesn't have anything to counter it and then after that, I could put a scrap on the field and then I can link right into my scrap wavering and they're going right into the uh, um, grave. So it's a nice little uh, play that we have there. So <clears throat> then we have, of course, World Legacy Success Succession. You already know what that does. And one mind control. So that's it for the trap. Uh, I mean, uh, if for the magics, I don't run any traps, but you'll see why. All right. So we're going to go into... I'm sorry. We're going to go right into my extra. So I run 1,000 Eyes Restrict just because of the instant fusion. He's just another body on the field in order to get your plays going. I run one Silent Honor Arc. Uh, I was going to do Abyss Dweller. I do have that um, in order to stop people from going into their graves, but I didn't have it on me, so I had this. And the only reason I do that is is because i can attack and it can survive and then i can go right into my zeus depending on whatever else that they got um 
I actually play one Astoria Beast. You don't have to, but it's easy to get into the plays. You got uh, Scrap Searcher. Uh, I did play, actually, I do play three Squap Wyverns. This card is essential. You need to do this. It is not uh, up for debate. That card will make you go off. Uh, Mascarina, of course. Unchain Abomination. I would do the play where I would uh, go into her first, and then I would sink in. I would not sink. Wow, link into him, and he's basically an unstoppable. And then he can keep popping. Um, also, one one. Actually, no, I had two of these. I think I dropped out one of them. Um, I had one black uh, Lesser Soldier just because um, if you tribute, I mean tribute, if you link a level 7 or higher monster, then he becomes like unstoppable. Um, so you can see that you got this, you got a level 9. I play one of him. He's does quick. He does a quick play. He's also water just in case they like to, you know, uh, ban certain... Um, uh, one of the cards I was playing against, I think it was, no, it wasn't Gozen Match because then I wouldn't be able to play it, but it was one card that prevented me from going into uh, my Scrap Dragons, so I actually got into him. It's pretty good. And, of course, uh, I like to think of him as, like, the sub-boss of the, of the deck because, you know, it's so easy to get him out um, and he can, you know, get whatever Link monster that you have in the graveyard. So that's it for that. Um... We actually also have, for the side deck, I know this is an old school card, uh, Shared Ride. This actually helped me out a lot. I actually drew like five cards off this. It was it was crazy. Um, if you don't know what this does, uh, basically after this card resolves, each time your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand, I mean from their deck or graveyard to their hand this turn, except by drawing them, you immediately draw one card. So I was, I was actually drawing a lot with that. Um, remember I was telling you about the trap cards, right? So two tuner schemes. If you don't know what this does, this actually really helped me out a lot against, uh, uh, was that Sword Souls? Uh, you know, Sword Souls activated and I was just able to just flip it. Um, this card is just crazy now with uh, Sword Souls. And that's why I put it as a side deck because not everybody synchro summons. So this is really a side card, but depending on who I'm playing, this really helped out a lot. Um, of course, one light one shadow because Shadell's still a thing and you know you already got light and shit so i mean things still pop off um one of the main cards that i don't think a lot of people really uh know about and this card really saved my butt like a lot of times i don't think i would have gotten as far as i did if it wasn't for gravity collapse so gravity collapse basically what it does is activate by sending one face up synchro monster you control to the graveyard when your opponent summons a monster, negate the summons and destroy that card. Your opponent cannot summon a monster until the end of this turn. So basically, this stops them from going into any kind of plays. Um, I mean, this card is just bonkers. And it's a, it's a uh, counter trap. So you see that speed 3 or speed 4, speed 5, whatever. It's the highest speed they got. So in order for them to do it, they would have to do uh, Solomon Judgment or... Something along that line to really stop this card from going off. But this this is an old school card. Again, I'm an old school player. Um, but a lot of the cards that I did have that were new that, you know, you saw what I did. I, I uh, took it back to the comic book store and I traded them in. Uh, so anyway, um, this helped out extremely a lot. Twin Twister because Marcos Cosmos is at three. Dimensional Fisher's at three. So this really helped out a lot. I played... Uh, two uh, two Lancers, uh, just because Forbidden, uh, the Forbidden Graveyard, this this card really helped out a lot. Um, I didn't I cited him in once, he didn't really come up at all. Um, but the mistake I actually played this actually was pretty good, so that stayed on the board. Uh, the reason why hand traps are a little bit better is because I did go against a Jinzo deck, but. It wasn't like a, it wasn't um, 
what is it like a pure Jinzo deck it was just like a, a I guess it was a machine deck but it was just able to get Jinzo on there just just to protect it so this these these cars were actually garbage um but these cards really helped out a lot like hand traps so um yeah so if you liked what you see leave a like subscribe let me know um if you want me to do more of you know deck profiles i do have um my other medulces i did play that light yesterday that actually was really good i actually came in second on that one but we weren't really playing for any money so it was just uh for fun but um I'm not really, uh, I always wanted to, I always wanted to see Scraps top, you know, I've never seen Scraps top, so I would like one of these days to see Scrap, at least one Scrap player top, uh, you know, but anyway, thanks for watching and, uh, I'll see you guys later.